we gotta talk. We gotta talk today. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am not very excited about this video. <laughs> Probably the first time ever. Um, I have been noticing some changes in my hair. Not super happy about them at all. You and I, we have been on this almost four year natural hair journey together. So I figured why not just jump on here, chit chat with y'all. We're gonna get into detail about the exact changes I am seeing in my hair. Like what am I not liking? And also, kind of trying to dissect a little bit of what exactly may be causing it and we're just we're gonna get into all of it we might as well just go ahead and jump straight in okay so <laughs> my hair I'm not happy with it right now I'm really really not happy with it right now and it's been a while now that I've slowly been like getting more and more and more frustrated with it it's not just one wash that came out bad and I'm frustrated and blah 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 it's absolutely not that it's been a consistent thing and I feel like it's kind of consistently getting worse um so basically uh I don't know I feel like it's probably showing up really decent on camera maybe if I come up a little bit closer you will be able to see so it's not my entire head of hair but it's it's mostly the ends that I'm having a huge issue with and I am getting to the point where I feel like literally I'll be saying to George I hate my hair and I've literally never said that in my entire almost four years on this natural hair journey so that was kind of like really eye-opening for me like okay what's going on um but basically this is this is my problem the ends of my hair they are just absolutely frizzing out like it's just really frizzy and lifeless i've always been just super passionate about my curls and lately they have just been feeling meh so yeah i don't know if the camera is actually picking it up properly but as i'm looking in the mirror i am just seeing like straight frizz straight frizz that is all a very like kind of lack of curl definition so this is actually day three hair and it's crazy because when i did just wash my hair i did a moisturizing wash i used products that i know that work really really well in my curls normally and seemingly had a great wash then yesterday day two i had my hair up in a pineapple i slept within a pineapple and i kept it in a pineapple all day yesterday because i didn't do anything didn't leave the house so it wasn't even manipulated yesterday. So technically this should be giving technically that day two pop and curl vibe, even though it is technically day three. Um, but yeah, it's not, it's not giving for me. So the part of my hair that is still pretty poppin' is like here, you can see in the front, the curls are defined. They look juicy, they're clumping, but it's literally, it feels like it's just these curls right here because even here on the side you can see look we've got frizz it's been um frustrating wash and go after frustrating wash and go it's to the point now actually where i don't even feel like taking photos for instagram and that's my job but i don't feel inspired and i don't know i'm just getting really frustrated with it because it's not just frizz it's literally not just frizz. It's like it's not holding the curl pattern anymore. It has no more elasticity, I think is what my hair is losing a lot of because it doesn't really like kind of like bounce back. There's just no curl. It's just like 100% absolute frizz at the bottoms. So of course, I know y'all are probably yelling at me like, okay, it's gotta be the color, it's color damage. And I absolutely do think that the color, which is obviously more heavy on the bottoms. So obviously, yes, there must be something going on with the color. Um, even though I didn't use bleach, as you guys know, I think whether or not you use bleach, even with just color, there is some form of a possibility of damage. And for me, at first when I did it, everything was cool and dandy, but I just feel like it's been a real gradual change in my curls. What did we color? I think we first colored at the beginning of this year around February, and then I go in every six to eight weeks or so to tone the color so that it doesn't like go too orange. We tone it back down a little bit to keep it looking popping and fresh and not too coppery, you know what I mean? So I don't know if it has to do with the consistent toning of my hair, but toner is not necessarily supposed to be damaging. It's actually supposed to be like good for your curls, apparently. I don't know. I don't know. And I honestly, I actually don't think that color is the only thing to blame. I do think it's a 
pretty big part of it let's just be real um but I also feel like it has to do with just my hair getting longer because I remember over these past like three years of growing my hair from here all the way to where it is now there were many many times where my hair has changed my curls have just they just change all right that's just how it is when I first started out with my fresh like very small very very small big chop my curls did not curl they were very wavy I remember having to finger coil my curls for a good couple of months and then as it got longer it started to curl itself and at that stage when it was still pretty short but long enough to be curling itself I had those spirally ringlety curls so I went a while with those cute really nice poppin spiral curls the curls were curling back then okay and then as it continued to get longer I felt like it would get more defined but a different type of definition if that makes sense so it went through a stage where it grew out of the spiral curls and started doing that s curl thing which you guys see me have now um, but when it was shorter it was the tighter version of these s curls and so then it was like that for a little bit and then now that it's growing out longer it's more elongated stretched out s curls and so I just feel like it's probably a combination of both things the fact that my hair is growing long longer than it's ever been before um, this section of my hair is constantly being rubbed up against fabrics and all of that stuff so that's obviously not healthy it's colored as well so even with all the effort that I have put into ensuring that my hair is staying happy and healthy and stuff there's just something that's not really working and I have I've gotten so frustrated and really sad about it because I have gotten caught into this thing where I need to just grow 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 do you know what I mean like I big chops and felt the freedom of having no hair release me from the shackles of needing to have long hair to feel beautiful you know what I mean and then somewhere along the line I got caught into the grow 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 keep growing keep growing keep growing you gotta grow it as long as possible it's gotta be really long really nice you know what I mean and then with my platforms with you guys watching me I felt kind of a responsibility to be like look black hair can grow and I feel like at this stage we kind of know that okay I don't need to be the spokesperson for <laughs> black hair can grow we know this we all already know this right um, but for some reason I kind of put that responsibility on myself and I just said you have to keep growing 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 and the longer that I grow my hair is the more that I'm getting frustrated with it and it's the more that it's just it's also just not feeling like me you know what I looked back at older pictures when my hair was shorter and just kind of was like looking over my entire natural hair journey and the confidence in myself that I used to have when my hair was short, when the curls were popping, when I just felt my best is just, I am not there right now. Ew, why do I feel like crying? You know what, hair, hair is deep. This is the thing. It's just, it's deeper than just it's hair that grows out of your head, you know? I think we all know this. It is something you identify with. It's something that can either make you feel really great about yourself or really horrible about yourself. And so I'm kind of going through a little transition phase now to where it's like, I don't want to be stuck in the growth, growth, growth. And if, if you don't continue to grow it, then you're a failure kind of thing. You know what I mean? I'm transitioning from that mindset to what actually makes you feel happiest and what style is something that makes you feel good about yourself every single day because I feel like once it gets to the point where you're so frustrated with your curls what is the point what is the point just so I can say oh well it's long so <laughs> like you know what I mean so I I don't know I don't know where I'm gonna go from here honestly like I said I'm still in that transition phase I'm trying to figure it out for myself what exactly is it that I can do with my hair that will make me happy but like I said y'all have been with me on this journey for all of these years so I just wanted to chat with y'all and just be open with y'all about the way that I'm feeling because I know for years it looked really easy and honestly it was I started my natural hair journey with the message that 
I bake chopped for myself and I wanted y'all to feel like when you make decisions about your hair, do it for yourself. Don't do it for anybody else, not your mom, not your boyfriend, not your husband, nobody else. You gotta make the decisions for yourself. That is where we started. And somewhere along the way, I don't know, I just, I forgot. I forgot that message that we started out with. So yeah, that is basically how I'm feeling. And you know what's crazy about the current state of my hair? I can't 100% say like, oh yeah, it's damaged 100%, chop it all off. You know what I mean? Because it's really, it's really not. Like it's really not that bad. And I know some of y'all are probably looking like, girl, your hair looks amazing, it's fine. Like what are you talking about? Um, I guess because it's my hair, I can definitely tell the difference between how it is now and how it used to be. I'm about to just do what makes me happy with my hair and I am gonna continue to share my hair journey in whatever direction that takes me still figuring it out like I said but yeah I just I guess this video is me releasing the pressure to feel like at all costs I need to continue to grow 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 okay released bye is gone. I am going to have a conversation with my hairstylist, see what she says, and maybe we go from there. Maybe we get rid of the color and see if that was really the main culprit for what's going on here. I don't know. Voicing this out loud to y'all who have been rocking with me for so long. I don't know why it makes me emotional. It's so crazy the way we get so connected to our hair and we identify through it. This is why it's so important though to make sure that you release yourself from all outside pressure and just really, really tune in to your soul, to your heart and like what it wants, what makes you happy despite everybody else what makes you happy. However I proceed going forward with my hair is just going to be guided by my inner voice, my soul, my heart, whatever feels good to me. But even so, I would still love to hear your advice. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. What do you think is causing it? Do you think it's from the color? Did anything like this happen to you too? Um, how do you think I should proceed? I would be really, really interested to see what you guys have to say as well. So let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for just sitting here and letting me complain about my hair a little bit. I feel like it's a part of the journey. Definitely something that I wanted to include with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure to comment your advice and then stay tuned to see how I actually proceed because I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.